Well, the fans bundle up here on seasonably cool weather in northern Ohio during the summer months as we take a look at Jesse Berge and playing for keeps, a brand new pickup truck at GMC against the Chevrolet Equalizer of Greg Holbrook. Now, Greg might have just a little bit of an advantage here since this is the first weekend out with Jesse's truck, and he's not sure how this truck is going to handle. He did a great job, but he couldn't quite keep up with the equalizer, and he gets a little out of shape. Hang here. on, Jesse! Oh, he did a great job of driving, Gary. He kept his foot in it to prevent that truck from rolling on over. Exactly, and that's why these guys love all that shutdown area down there. Now, you watch, equalizer had a good run. Jesse had a good run. But right here, he took a bad hop, and like I said earlier, he's not sure how this truck's going to handle well. He just found out what could happen, and he did a great job of keeping it under control. Well, he went to school that time and did indeed learn something about that race truck. And as you see here, here's a guy that's been driving this truck for quite some time, and you can tell he keeps it under control, no bounce whatsoever. Well, talk about a guy who had some trouble keeping it under control in the shutoff area. This is John Moore and no problem. We go back now to qualifying. He is in the far lane in that flip top Ford Bronco, a good ride, but look what happens when he tries to slow her down. And of course, the shutdown area plays a big part here, Gary. They have a lot of room, and he's got a lot of room for mistakes, but he just takes a little bit of a slide in the wet grass. Yeah, but he took two counties to get that <laughs> yeah. thing shut down. All right, no problem against Bennett Clark in the pink Clydesdale Chevrolet against Ford. They are staged here at Bowling Green, Ohio, the Wood County Fairgrounds. We watch for the green, there it is. And a problem with Clydesdale. I'm not sure what happened to Clydesdale. He's still moving, but John Moore don't know that. And he just keeps on going, keeps it full throttle, and does a great job. So we will see the Ford Bronco in the quarterfinals here at the Wood County Fairgrounds. A big thumbs up from the victors, some applause from a young fan here in Bowling Green, Ohio. We have more coming your way. It is a cool overcast night in northern Ohio with Rich Hoosier and Army Armstrong. I'm Gary Lee at the Wood County Fairgrounds here in Bowling Green, ready for quarterfinal action with the Carolina Crusher taking on King Kong. No problem then, we'll face King Crunch. Then it's Bigfoot, the fast loser against the Grave Digger, and the Buffalo Tremor against Equalizer. Quarterfinal action as we take a look at Gary Porter out of North Carolina in the Carolina Crusher. And King Kong, this perhaps a surprise that Steve came with the older model truck has advanced this far. He's been doing so good tonight, this is gonna be a very close race. As they are staged, there is the green light. The competition begins in quarterfinal action. And Kong takes it, Gary, and I am really kind of surprised because Gary Porter and the Carolina Crusher usually does excellent on these long courses, but King Kong is just running exceptionally well. He keeps it down on the ground, not a lot of air at that first set, and then over the finish line with no problems at all. A little bit of smoke coming out, but I don't think he's got any problem. I'll tell you what, you're looking back at the truck. It's running good, it's sounding good, but there's something coming out of the right side of that block. What is it? Uh, well, what I think it is, Army, is the, the uh, oil dipstick keeps coming out and it keeps blowing uh, water. Okay, other than that, everything's go? Oh, yeah, truck's running fine. We're down to four. You're one of them. We'll see you in that next round. All right, thank you, Army. Okay, Gary, just to correct him, he's got oil coming out and out water. And Army's going to be talking to Scott Stevens here on the radio. Okay, Scott Stevens, this is Army Armstrong. Uh, this board's looking awfully tough, and he's in the lane that he loves. What are you going to do to get by him? We definitely can't take him for granted, that's for sure. John Moore's real tough all the time. So indeed, John Moore is having a good evening in the Ford Bronco with a no problem. He goes up against the auto value King Crunch and Scott Stevens. My Gary, unbelievable. John Moore just blew away King Crunch. This is unbelievable. Would you I don't call know. this an upset, Rich? I would call this definitely an upset. Now, I don't know if Scott had some problems or if he just didn't think John was going to run that hard, but look how aggressive he is here, almost clearing all the cars. An excellent run for that Bronco. John Moore, that had to be one of the best races you've ever run. Felt good. You're going to get King Kong in the next round, two bad boy Fords. Uh, what's going through your mind on it? I'll have to go back, get ready for it, tighten a couple bolts. I think we can do it. 
Well, as John Moore has surprised a few folks, no one is ever surprised by the success of these two trucks. Bigfoot with John Pyatt and Dennis Anderson in the Grave Digger, a Chevrolet panel truck against the Ford pickup. And John Pyatt gets a good jump, the whole shot, and he'll take the victory. He did a great job. That was probably his best run all night. He was having a little problems with the engine popping earlier, but he seemed to have that problem fixed because Dennis starting off slow, but he usually had that power about by now. But John just kept on going to take a good win against Anderson. Well, the clouds are starting to dissipate, giving us a beautiful sunset here in northern Ohio as the competition continues. We look at Greg Holbrook out of Lebanon, Tennessee, an equalizer, and John Kwasniewski and Buffalo Trimmer. Now, John's still having problems with that engine from going alcohol to gas. The engine just does not want to accept that gas. He's having problems with the way it's running. He gets off to a big deficit early, and Holbrook takes the victory. So young Greg Holbrook will advance to the final four. And Greg did an excellent job of driving here. He took the win, but he didn't drive the truck real hard. He knew that Kwasniewski was going to have problems, so he stayed on the ground. As you see here, not a whole lot of air, but he does do a great job. He's got a lot of room in the shutdown area, and he wins it. And Equalizer will be in the final four. Here's a young fan, he likes Bigfoot. Bigfoot will be there along with King Kong and no problem. The Final Four shootout coming up from Bowling Green, Ohio.